Okay, for unit 11, chapter 3, we're going to be asking for someone, uh, asking for an opinion about someone. So asking another person an opinion about someone else. And once again, I'll put the other stuff in. So the goal is we're going to be aiming for this conversation, being able to sign this. So um, it says from B's list, and that's at the end of the class session, we would have a conversation where someone would give a name. Or, you know, you take a look at a, a list of names and say, oh, this person, and then ask about the relationship. Relationship. Take two Fs and link them together. Relationship. Um, who is this person? Then the person would explain. And then A would say, oh, well, I need an opinion, like to think about an opinion about that person. And then there's different vocab, travel. So to travel, it's like a V, but you kind of bend it, travel. I remember from the vocab of things we enjoy doing. Travel with companion, right? Travel together. Roommate, take two like claw hands and just come in together, straight line, roommate. Work together, work, offer a job, hire, employee, work with, date, two Ds. Um, you don't want to do closed fist because this means meet, date, date, go out on a date, or babysit. And it's two Ks, one on top of the other. It also means take care of or be careful. I feel like this is off. Sorry. I'm going to pull that forward. That's a little bit better. I have light so I know where the top of the frame is. Anyway, so this dialogue is going to go back and forth where someone asks about someone, someone gives their opinion. Um, and gives a couple of reasons, three qual personal quality signs, examples to support your opinion. So that person is boring. Um, and then a couple of examples. And then, so we're talking about positives, right? Then one drawback, one negative thing about the person. So positive, 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 and then negative. So this is getting to be longer. We're putting together a lot more of our vocab. So just be prepped. And I'm sure this is pretty easy to talk about if you have a conversation with someone from class. Talk about your roommate. Talk about a sibling. Talk about your parents. I'm sure you can find it, even if it's a fingerspell. Um, some uh, vocab word that we haven't had yet. Um, and if you do have specific vocab questions, feel free to email me or come into my office hours or one of the online chat things and we can talk about it. Um, and then you follow, follow up, what do you plan to do? It'll make more sense, but we're kind of like prepping for conversations of, hey, I was thinking about taking a trip and this person seemed like an interesting person to join with. What do you think? Um, a common conversation in our ASL classes um, when we're not in quarantine is about taking a weekend trip to Gallaudet in DC. And it's probably good to find out you're not getting a serial killer in the car if you're going to go. Um, if you're looking for a day trip once we're able to travel, I highly recommend that. DC's got lots to see and Gallaudet's campus is great. You will be terrified your first time going. Um, because you're going to be paranoid, you're not going to understand, you're going to look foolish, completely understand. Um, but it's worth going just to, to kind of even just look around. My first time there, all I did is walk around, barely had any conversation, tried to avoid making contact with people. And it was great because I got to watch everybody and go, oh, I'm understanding what they're doing. Okay, I can kind of do this. Um, lots of vocab. We're starting to get to the point where we're going to have a ton of vocab with almost every chapter. So to get in touch with, boom, 
middle fingers contact. It's also used in networking, the internet. So contact, contact, contact. To hire someone, to bring someone in, you can also offer them a job or invite them. These two signs um, are pretty interchangeable depending on what you're thinking. Oh, well, I'm going to offer them a job or I'm going to hire them. Right? It's also a sign for you're welcome. Although it's become the sign for all of, ooh, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. When actually when we sign you're welcome, it's more like, no, 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 go take it. Here, by all means, help yourself. So um, it's conceptually, it's a bit weird. You can tell someone's very English when, oh, you're welcome. Because you're not welcoming them in. You just gave them, I don't know, a tourniquet. Or, um, to catch up on quite easily. There's a couple different ways we can do this one. Um, do, 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 do. You could do this to catch up. Two people, one's fallen behind and you catch up. Um, there's also the idea that you can pick something up, like you're picking up things and you pick up something. So like, oh, I didn't know how to play that game. But then once I started reading the rules and playing, I picked it up really easily. So it's just these things, like you're picking up, picking up, picking up. Flirt with. Both hands like this. Overlap the thumbnails, right? And flirt. 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 It's a... It's very Harry Potter kind of... Or the magicians, if you watch that weird show. So, books are so much better. Anyway, flirt, flirt, flirt. Um, and flirt, you aim at the person you're flirting with, right? The whole, I'm sweeping the whole crowd. Um, having a creative mind. I wish they would just do single words. But create... And it's usually the fours as opposed to the fives, because this is just crazy, but this is creative. He creative. She flirts, but he's creative. Um, transfer from here to there. And I will include the um, a vocab slideshow, um, like I've done with the other ones, so you can see a couple other people signing them. So. It's that sign for travel, but you're going from one place to another. Um, to have experience with. I have no idea why this is, unless it's uh, wrinkles from experience. So, experience? Uh, I've done that. Oh, I've experienced that. Um, X. EX. EX. If you're talking about breaking up with someone, you're undoing the relationship. But... X. And again, with some of these, there are other alternates. And the book will show um, show other ones. The video that I include in here with all the vocab will also have more. Um, ordinary. Same old, same old. Remember, this is the sign for similar or same. Same old, same old. Ordinary. Um, nothing special. Also, you'll see this. It's, a, it's like not a full nothing. It's a tiny nothing. Ah, nothing. Um, to move from place to place. Move. You pick up and move, right? Oh, he moved. He moved away. He moved here. So move. Take your, thing, take your things and move. Um, brief amount of time at each place. Boom, boom, boom. Bum. Oftentimes we'll do this for it to touch here, touch here, touch here, touch here. You're doing a traveling vacation. Do, 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 do. Or I've been there, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. Um, every month or monthly, we know the sign for month is back to back, right? And if we just repeat it every month, one, two, three, four, right? Monthly. It's also the sign for rent because we pay it every month, right? So, oh. Do, 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 do. Um, have no interest in, not fond of, not care for. Like you're taking your nose and throwing the snot at it, right? It's kind of like a who cares. You can ignore. But 
I think for this case, this is here. I teach both. I usually teach both of them at this point. So it's who cares? Who cares? You can aim it at whatever you're talking about. Oh, who cares about that? And the same idea is you can do it with the forehand shape from the nose. Actually means to ignore. I blow my snot at you. Gross. Um, to behave or conduct oneself in an acceptable way. Behave. It's two Bs. Behave. You also see polite. And it's just the five hand shape and you brush the thumb up the button line or the zipper. Polite. Um, actually, rather than do it this way, better to do it up this way. Polite. Um, full of ideas, imaginative. Again, we come to that. To be loving, affectionate. You can cherish my precious. Right? And you just take your hand, that claw, and just claw your chin a little bit. Because you're, oh, I love it. Right? So cherish. And to be marvelous, wonderful, amazing. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Um, it also comes from like church signing, you know, wonderful, wonderful, hallelujah, that kind of thing. That's why we sign Sunday, right? Sunday, Sunday, which we haven't gotten. If you know the days of the week, you know that. If you don't, we haven't gotten there yet. Now's the point where you start going, why are we learning these words and haven't learned these? I don't know but I didn't put the book together. So right now, it's okay. We don't have to do that. You can fingerspell days of the week. So now I would break up into groups and we would talk about what would you be interested, what are you looking for in a travel companion, in a roommate, in an employee, um, in someone to date, in a babysitter. So kind of trying to think about what are the qualities that you would like whether they're on this list or, or not. And I'd encourage you to stick with the list just because it gets you to practicing quicker than if you're learning a whole bunch of new vocab because there's already enough vocab in this one. Um, so try to think of in that list, what are the qualities that would be good? Like three for each of them. <coughs> and now we get to the conversation. And again, this is what we would do in class normally. Um, so this would be a good thing to practice with someone on video chat, just to kind of talk about what are those. Um, the mini dialogues go through exactly that. So oh. I want to travel. Rose. Smith. Do you know who she is? That's my ex-girlfriend. I don't really believe that. But um, we were together about five years. Or we were together five years ago. She wants someone to travel with her. Do you think she'd be good? She loves travel. She's sweet. Quiet doesn't like to meet people, but art history and architecture major. So she's really can talk a lot about those topics. Interesting. Perfect for travel. We traveled a lot together. She would be good. Now, one thing I warn you about, she tends to be late. She's not on time. But I want to hit lots of different points, short travel. And I'm going to need someone who's on time. And if you were easily, I can think of someone else. Oh, I think of one other warning. She's not good with money. Go out to a restaurant, fancy restaurant. So, 
And you talk about everyday restaurants, stuff like that. So just it's there. Each of the dialogues will give you some new vocab. Um, pause, uh, stop. Go on for so long. So um, there will be some new vocab in each one, and that's cool. Look at the context and try to figure out what they're talking about. Um, do, 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 do. So he's signing warning, something to be careful of. Uh, and a lot of that comes from like, hey, 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 don't do that, right? So warning. Um, and your book has all of the vocab in it as well. Between that and the um, the either the pictures on the pages or if you watch the vocab at the end of this chapter, the, the DVD vocab review. So I kind of will recommend at this point when you see a long list of vocab, just jump down to the vocab at the end and look at them all so that you're at least familiar with them. Um, there are, I believe, yeah, there are five different mini dialogues. And there's an explanation of what the, what it's going to be. Right. So Melvin needs a babysitter and asks Terry Lean about Aaron. Um, some of the descriptions of the videos talk about what they look like and what color clothing they're wearing to incorporate uh, description and stuff from before. Um, I tend to cut them out if I need the space, but I think you can usually figure out who's who in the video. I'm trusting that you can. Um, these are slightly different than the homeworks that are in the book. Um, a colleague created them to be like a handout or something that could be submitted online. So change a couple of the questions. Um, so it should be hopefully pretty self-explanatory. And all of the answers are on the worksheets that are posted on Blackboard. Um, so here's all the vocab again. And then all of the videos are in one. So that's 11.3. It's just a lot of description. It's just playing around with this new vocab and putting them in a sentence. Cool. So we can practice this in, in the conversation sections. Does anything more? No. 